Allegra from Ember Living here today to talk about the exciting topic of greening your lighting and appliances and electronics. My first tip is to invest in something called a smart strip. Smart strips are fantastic because they're kind of like surge protectors, except that they have three different types of outlets. They have one that's called the master outlet, and then they have a number of outlets that are called the controlled outlets, and then they have always on outlets. So for instance, say for your television, you plug your television into that master outlet, and then you plug all of the other peripherals, so your cable box, your DVD, your DVR, your Blu-ray, whatever it is, you plug those into the controlled outlets, and then say you need something to always be on. Maybe your cable box should always be on. So what that does is when you turn on your TV, it turns everything else on for you, which really just sounds like a lazy man's dream. But the reason why it's more eco-friendly is it saves you a ton of energy because when you turn off that TV, it also turns everything off for you. So you don't have to go around turning everything off because some people can be lazy and then they leave things on and that's just drawing a ton of electricity. But the other thing is, is even if you're turning your appliances off, they are still going to be drawing a little bit of energy from the grid. It's called a phantom load. And the reason it does that is so that it starts up really quickly. Well, phantom loads can add up to be 13% of your household energy bill. So if you get something like a smart strip, you can save yourself 13% off your energy bill because it will control things like phantom loads. They're also a great thing to have if you have like an office because your computer can go into the master strip and say your fax machine and your printer and your modem and all that other stuff can go into the controlled ones. And again, it'll cut down on all those phantom loads. So those are fantastic. Another great thing that you can do is to get on off sensors for your lighting. So this is especially practical in an office environment. So say when someone goes into the bathroom, it senses that someone's in there, turns the light on, turns the light off. You don't have to have the light on for all those hours when no one's actually in the bathroom. You'll save a ton of energy that way. And another thing is to use energy efficient lighting and light bulbs. So that means get rid of the incandescents and switch to either CFLs or LEDs. I'm gonna talk about the differences between these different types of light bulbs in a different video. So tune into that one for more details about that.